What's up guys, Lou here back with another video and today I've got something that I've actually had my eye on for a little while. What we're looking at is a Panasonic product, the DMC-CM1 from the Lumix line. So everything so far is pointing at camera, but the weird part is it's also a phone. I for a long time have been interested in kind of the ultimate social Instagram Twitter camera. Let me just let me just open it up. This guy features a one inch sensor. That's the same size as the Sony RX100. That is a substantial sensor. And look at that, but it's not, but it's still, you know, it's kind of like the size, at least from the front of a phone. Now, granted, it's it's fatter, but it's not crazy fat. So you got a nice big aperture on the lens, f2.8. You have a, a dedicated shutter button, camera switch over here, the power switch. There's even a little tiny forward facing camera. Can you catch that there, Jack? Kind of a, an unusual layout. The headphone jack is in this location here and I assume this is where you'll put your memory card. No, that's your USB port. There we go. SIM card slot and micro SDXC. So what else do we have? Here? Pretty straightforward, a charge, a big charger, holy smokes. Oh, it is a Qualcomm quick charger 2.0, okay. So it's gonna charge faster. All right then, this is a quicker publishing method for photography that looks more like dedicated camera photography. Look at my hands right now. There we go. Update successful. And we have actually a fairly, a fairly stock looking Android here. 5.0, 4K photo, 4K pre-burst. So you see, it actually, check that out, Jack. It extends a little bit. It's not huge. I'm kicking it old school. When I was a little kid and I got a new gadget, I would take the user manual to bed as my reading before I went to sleep. This was my nudie magazine right here. Panasonic is positioning this as a connected camera, not a smartphone. The lens also happens to be fixed, so might have been nice to have a little bit of zoom here, but they've opted for a fixed lens like a lot of other smartphones in order to protect the form factor. Now the camera app is gonna be what you're most interested in. You can launch it a couple of different ways, either just by tapping the icon or this little slide at the top, which is gonna get you access a lot quicker. You can see the autofocus working here as I move in. Boom, 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 boom. You guys hear that? Like that's, that's quick. Certainly a photo first experience. It's just different. And of course having complete manual control, you can map this ring on the front for uh, focus, zoom, whatever you want. Now, I wouldn't recommend using the zoom. It is a fixed focal length, so you're working, you're working with digital zoom there. Never advisable. You're only going to be using a portion of the sensor. Granted, you're looking at a one-inch sensor here, which is about seven times bigger than your average smartphone sensor. So if there were a sensor to use digital zoom on, this would be it. The 4K video is only operating at 15 FPS. So you might hope at this price point to be getting uh, 4K at 30 FPS since a lot of phones do that. But again, I feel like this is mostly aimed at still photos. Let's see how wide this guy is. One thing you can do here that you couldn't necessarily do as easily with a lot of other cameras on the market is do like an automatic backup, right? You could connect your Google Drive or use Google Photos, whatever you wanna do because you've got Android right here. A Couple of 4K features here. It's got something called pre-burst, which is going to actually be recording bursts of 4K resolution frames prior to you hitting the record button. If you're anticipating action, then you can set up pre-burst and then when that action happens, actually go back in time so you didn't miss it. What would you say, like, what is it? Business on the front, party on the back? Or would it be the other way around? Business on the back, party on the front. I like seeing when tech companies do something strange, ambitious, if you will. They're not gonna sell a ton of these, but they decided to make it anyways. Let's say I got this thing in my pocket. Let's do a quick, boom, slide over to the camera. Shot! Boom! And that's, that's like a macro focus situation. Look how quickly, look how quickly it gets focus on me. Maybe I'm too excited about this. I cer certainly don't look excited in this frame right here. 
But anywhere you want to you want to share still images, this is probably the best you're going to be able to do immediately. This is the CM1, DMC-CM1 from Panasonic. I think we're going to have some fun together. We've obviously gone to the extreme here. What exactly went down? I'm going to pull this out. 